we have a situation right now where we have some of the computers are set up in our headquarters building. We have other of the infrastructure computers set up out in Frederick. Uh, and then we have these desks. So we have these, these two right now. We're mostly on the non-FAA side, um, a Microsoft Outlook kind of shop. Uh, uh, FAA does stuff with notes, which makes it sort, of, sort of interesting when they, they meet. So w one problem we have is every operating administration has its own coop plan. You know, it isn't, there isn't a department, there's sort of this vaguely departmentally defined coop plan, but the reality is every one of them has a coop plan and every one of them has uh, a backup facility. Every one of the operating administrations has their own backup facility. Uh, our goal is to start integrating it over time. The question is where we are right now, where I've got all these disparate pieces, is it more important to try and integrate some of these disparate pieces operationally and then start doing the coop stuff? Do we try and do it together? What does it mean? These are issues we're wrestling with right now. Um, we are putting in place near synchronous replication for all our home directories. Uh, so uh, over the next couple of months, uh, we'll be able to fail over between the headquarters building and Frederick back and forth and basically have almost instantaneous uh, backup up there. Uh, I had a big discussion with email where people said, well, it'll take us at least 12 hours uh, to come up and uh, uh, the requirement is 24 hours anyway. And, I, and the reason was because, you know, if you have, you know, uh, folders with 150,000 emails and uh, it would take them that long to roll all these folders and the emails in your inbox back in before they were back to that point. So the thought was, we'll wait till we get to this perfect point and then we're ready to go. And my comment was, you know, uh, if there really is an emergency and we really need this backup, it's more important to just have email up of some sort. Who cares if you have your old emails? I mean, it'd be inconvenient, but the issue is we use the, the communication on email as a very fundamental part of us. So how long would it take to come up without any emails, any old emails, just come back up? And um, so they've got it down to six hours. And um, by uh, calendar year 2009, we'll be down to under an hour. And that's, there's no reason it can, you know, we're not talking about rolling in anything. We just have to keep a live mirror of the directory and then just turn it on. Typically, coup planning is dominated by organizational implications and data center and hardware continuity implications. Um, I think that's a mistake. I mean, you can see there's a practical problem with it. That is, uh, uh, we're, you know, we have, all the, our individual organizations have their own coup plan, and, and how do you work together? But also, I think it's actually a mistake to say, well, I've got this data center, I have to figure out how to replicate the data center. Uh, my question is, and, and this is the second point, we're starting to move towards service-oriented architectures, which I still believe is more a slogan than a methodology, uh, but there's certainly a movement toward that and more web-based kind of activities, the cloud doesn't go down. Or, and if it goes down, then probably all this other stuff doesn't matter anyway. So my question is, and this is one of the things I'm wrestling with is, is there a way of taking advantage of the cloud as the backup? You know, there's a lot of things to overcome when thinking about that. Government doesn't like to store its stuff on things that are not government. So we don't mind that when it, we can get a contract with a contractor you know, to do it fast off-site. But my question is, we invest all this money in, in, in backup data centers and backup computers and the things we're doing right now. I mean, this is our focus is doing these things, making sure we can bring the email up quickly, making sure we have big pipes between our office and Frederick, uh, making sure there's a tertiary backup facility somewhere, making sure the app, you know, all this stuff. We spent all this time doing this. The cloud is always sort of up. So the, and you know, emergencies occur only when there's an emergency. So you don't necessarily have to have it there all the time. So the question is, can you take advantage of that in some creative fashion? And um, obviously if I'm asking the question, I have an intuitive notion of the answer. But I don't think we're being very creative there. Partially because it's not clear who has economic self-interest in the answer to that being a positive one. But I think there's a reality there that will eventually become more obvious to people. And so therefore I would say for those people of economic interest, they should think about what that means.